Hi guys, so let's look at this next question from Algebra from CAT 2021 slot 3. A very good question of Algebra, a difficult question actually. Okay, from modulus topic. This question says that the number of distinct pairs of integers m, n satisfying 1 plus mn mod less than mod m plus n less than 5 is. Okay, see, so I know what is mod. mod what is mod? Mod x is equal to x, so when x will be positive and is minus x when x is negative. Okay, that means if anything is negative, minus 5 mod will become 5. Okay, minus of minus minus of minus 5 will basically become plus 5. I know. Should write like this because x is negative here. It becomes minus of minus 5 becomes plus 5. That means anything under negative, minus of mod 3, uh, minus 3 mod equal to 3 like that. So mod 3 equal to 3 like that. So anything negative becomes positive. Okay, so ultimate value of mod is positive. That is mod is always greater than or equal to 0. And here, if it is greater than or equal to 0, and here it is less than 5. So, and m and n are integers. So, I'll tell you two methods to solve such question actually. Okay, the method one, the method one will be hit and trial here. Now, why hit and trial I can do here? Because the numbers are integers. It is, I know that I need to play between 0 and 5. It is less than 5 and more than 0. Okay, so I can try and do a bit of hit and trial here. So, let's say I write here mod of 1 plus mn. Huh? is less than mod of m plus n is less than 5 and let's try to make a table for m and n here what satisfies so if i see so for example i i need it is less than 5 so maximum value of m can be 4 Anna. so if it is 4 then it can become uh, so this for this for to be less than 5 then it becomes 0 that means 1 plus f m into n will be is 1 because it is 0 no so 1 is always less than 4 plus 0 is 4 uh, is less than 5. That's correct. Similarly, so 4, 0 will satisfy. Similarly, so I can say that 3, 0 will also, also satisfy. At 3, 0, this will be this will be 1, this will be uh, 3, and this will be 5. Similarly, 2, 0 will also satisfy. Anna? So this is 1, this is 2, and this is 5. So you can think that about these three values. Now, you can't put 1, 0 here. So if you put 1, 0, it won't satisfy. Why? Because this one will be less than one so it is not now it is not true so this is wrong okay so i cannot I cannot solve for one zero now what about some other positive values right where it is non-zero values let's try to understand this if i take some non-zero values here let's say I try to put some uh three comma one or two comma two what happens if i put three comma one this will become four and this will become four it's not possible so again you can just cross it this is not possible if it is at 2 comma 2, this 5 will be less than 4, okay, not possible. So what you can observe is that any non-zero value it cannot take because this less than this will not satisfy for any non-zero values, okay. So I cannot take this. Just try to check for few negative values also. If I take for, check for few negative, because both negative doesn't make sense, because both because modulus uh, sign is there outside, so both neg negative doesn't make any sense, okay, it's same as both positive, okay. One negative, one positive I can check. Let's try to check for, for example, 1 and minus 3. If I try to put 1 and minus 3, so this will become 2 and this will also become 2. The thing is that at these values, again, this is actually for all the non-zero values, this I am not able to solve this part. This is creating problem. So that means for all the non-zero values, this is actually not satisfying. So it will satisfy only for zero values, right? No matter how, how much value you put. Huh, it's always satisfied with zero values. That basically means that, but yeah, that basically means that if I'm trying to find the ordered pair of m comma n, so I can have four comma zero, and this is counted as two solution because I can also have zero comma four. Okay, then I can have uh, similarly three comma zero or zero comma three like that. So every time I can have two solutions here, two solutions, two solutions. Okay, now also it can be negative also, no? So that means two zero then zero comma two. Okay. Then again 2. Again for negative values also, right? For like I can have minus 4 comma 0 also. Because if it is minus 4, again same thing, no? Minus 4 comma 0 will remain same value because negative mod is positive. If I put minus 4 and 0, see what will happen? 1, this will remain 0, no? Now, mod of 1 is less is equal to 1 only. Minus 4 and 0. So minus 4 mod will again become 4 only. And is less than 5. So again true. So 4, 0 is less, is same as minus 4, 0. Again, minus 4, 0, I'll have again two solutions here and 0, comma minus 4. Okay, so this is again two solution. Then again, minus 3, 0. Uh, then 0, comma minus 3. Again, two solutions. Then minus 2, 0. 
and 0 comma minus 2 again two solutions right so what i can say that total we can have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 total 12 solutions is the answer why because m and n is mentioned here m comma n so i'm looking the variables are defined in the question i'm looking for ordered solution i'm looking for ordered solution ordered solution means 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 4 are two different solutions okay because m and n are defined in the question only okay so that's the method one hidden trial for you okay now i'll, I'll, I'll tell you method two also to solve this question here okay now let's look at method two okay now method two is so what i can see if, uh, because i i know that it is mod and mod has a possibility of being negative also i don't know pos values are positive or negative okay x is positive and minus x for x negative to, to rule out that negative possibility we just square both side okay so 1 plus mn mod i'll just square is less than mod m plus n i'll just square here also okay now what this becomes so mod less now is removed because negative square becomes positive positive square is also positive so mod is removed now so i can write 1 plus m square n square plus m square plus uh, sorry m plus twice of mn okay plus twice of mn is less than m square plus m square n square plus twice of mn now this will get cancelled so i can write here 1 plus m square n square minus m square minus n square is less than 0 i can combine these two for example so if i combine these two i'll be getting 1 minus n square and if i combine these two i can take minus m square as common and if i take that minus m square as common uh, i'll be getting 1 minus n square correct yeah so that's the, that's correct okay so now i can solve that 1 minus m a square into 1 minus n a square is less than 0 okay so that's how we can uh, interpret this here okay 1 minus m a square and 1 minus n a square is uh, less than 0 now this is a very important equation here okay that the, uh, the product of two terms is 0 okay so if the product of two terms is 0 so how we'll proceed from here see so what i can say that so let me just write here uh, 1 minus m square into 1 minus n square is less than 0 so this is only possible when this is positive when this is positive and this is negative or when this is negative and this is positive right means either one of either one of them has to be negative okay and one has to be positive also now tell me uh, just try to try to understand here now if 1 minus m square is positive how it is possible i'm saying that 1 minus m square is positive how it is possible observe this so because m is an integer so if you put m equal to uh, 0 so m equal to 0 yes it is positive okay now, if you put m equal to 1 it becomes 0 if you put m equal to uh, not even 1 also you can put minus 1 also so it, it remains 0 right because 1 square is also 0 minus 1 square is also 0 so if you put m equal to plus 2 or minus 2 then it is negative no it is negative right it is negative so basically it is positive only at m equal to 0 this equation or this expression can be positive for integers only when m equal to 0 so here for this to be positive m equal to 0 similarly for this to be positive n has to be equal to 0 because otherwise if you put any other integer negative or positive this will be negative so for this positive m is 0 for this thing for this to be positive n has to be equal to 0 okay that's for sure so now if this is 0 so what you can say that in the first case when m equal to 0 okay so when m equal to 0 what about what about n here so what about n here so n has to be greater than 1 correct right so i can say that it is negative when n has to be greater than 1 correct no now because this, this will be like 1 minus 2 square if n is greater than 1 you can th just think over it 1 minus 2 square is negative 1 minus 3 square is negative right? even i can also say that n should be I, I can write here that n is greater than 1 also n can be greater than minus 1 also or n should be greater than minus 1 also sorry less than minus 1 also less than because if you put minus 2 a square again becomes 
4 minus 3 square again becomes 9 so here so what I can say that in the first case and this is second case here okay now here same thing here if I want this to be negative so either m has to be greater than 1 or m has to be less than minus 1 okay that's the that's my criteria because uh, for all the values n greater than 1 it be, it is like uh, negative and or for all the values n less than minus 1 also it is negative so it is actually written as mod it is actually written as mod of n is greater than 1 and it is written as mod of m is greater than 1 that's the meaning actually if you write mod of m greater than 1 that means m is greater than 1 or m is less than minus 1 okay so once I once I do this so basically I need to now look for the values that will satisfy this so look at the first case here so I'm looking at the first case now now in the first case I uh, put, uh, we have taken m equal to 0 and mod n is greater than 1 okay now it says that mod of m now we have not used this inequality inequality till now so let's use this now it says that that mod of m plus n is less than 5 if you put m0 that means mod of n is less than 5 and if mod of n is less than 5 so n can be how n can take how many values here mod of n is less than 5 so n can take how many values here so i know that n has to be greater than n has to be greater than 1 right and mod of n is less than 5 so n can take only values like n can be 2 or n can be minus 2 because it is greater than 1 n can be 3 or n can be minus 3 or n can be 4 or n can be minus 4 because it is greater than 1 or less than minus 1 so when mod of n is less than 5 it basically means that n is between 5 and minus 5 so in between 5 and minus 5 and satisfying this that n is less than minus 1 and n is greater than 1 only these values are possible 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 and 4 minus 4 now similarly look at the second case here in second case uh, when we have uh, in second case yes in second case we have got n equal to 0 so now I have got n equal to 0 and now I have got um, m mod of m is greater than 1 so same thing I can do here so again the same inequality mod of m plus n is less than 5 okay so n is equal to 0 mod of m is greater than 1 so m plus so I can put n 0 here now that means mod of m is less than 5 that means m is between 5 and minus 5 and because mod of m is greater than 1 that means m is either greater than 1 or m is less than minus 1 so in this range again m can take only 3 uh, only in positive side it can take because m has to be greater than 1 and less than 5 so it, m can take 2 3 and 4 and in negative side because m has to be less than minus 1 but greater than uh, minus 5 so it can take minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 okay so with all that n 0 so basically how the solution counts here m comma n right so all this counts here now in the first case m is 0 okay so when m is 0 n can take 6 values like for example 0 2 and uh, then 0 minus 2 okay like that then 0 minus 3 like that okay so basically um, what, what I'm trying to say that if uh, m is equal to 0 here I can get 6 solutions and here I even n is 0 here I can get again 6 solutions okay so total 12 is the answer for this question so it's a very good question very good conceptual question a bit tough i know it is tough but you need to solve such kind of question before exam to know the class to know the clarity that whether you should attempt this question in exam or not okay at that time so this is how you can solve this kind of question okay so i hope you uh, got uh, got this okay thank you And also we have this uh, CET subscription guys. So this is uh, basically for Maharashtra CET if anybody is preparing. So this is very low cost and uh, some very high quality material at an academy we are providing. So anybody in interested in this can search CET and academy and enroll to this. Okay. Thank you.